Pretend with me for a moment that I'm driving down the road going 60 miles an hour. Car's going that way, I'm looking this way. What's going to happen? I'm going to crash. And that's exactly what's happening with our money. We're crashing. Some of us are tempted to be too smart with our money by looking at our statements and peeking in the checkbook, wondering what's going on. That's just accounting. Instead, we need to be proactive, not reactive. We talked earlier about $2 million slipping through our fingers. Our My Money Wellness coaches report that 9 out of 10 people do not do a budget. We work too hard for our money to not be reaching our goals. The bottom line is, if you're doing a budget, it's going to feel like you're getting a raise. Here's what a budget should look like. Take your income minus your expenses and it will equal zero. We like to call this the zero-based budget. The goal when you are doing this is to get your budget to equal to zero. The first pass through may not get to zero and that's okay. You'll either need to cut some expenses or raise some income. It's time to budget. Let's take Ben and Teresa in this example. Ben's monthly take-home pay is $2,500. So let's add that under monthly take-home pay number one. Then let's take Teresa's monthly take-home pay of $1,900 and add that under monthly take-home pay number two. Now we'll add both of their total incomes together and we will get a total of $4,400. That is how much money Ben and Teresa have for this month's budget. Notice there are other income lines that you can potentially use if it fits your situation. Next, let's look at Ben and Teresa's expenses. Notice they listed out their expenses out line by line based on the categories provided. Now take their total expenses and add them together. Their total expenses equal $2,190. Note, this example only shows a sample of monthly expenses. Finally, take Ben and Teresa's total income of $4,400 minus Ben and Teresa's expenses of $2,190 and it equals $1,810 remaining. Ben and Teresa are not finished yet because their income minus expenses does not equal zero. Remember, whenever you have money left over, apply it to your baby steps. When you are short with your money, go back to the budget and reduce or eliminate some expenses. Go back and forth, back and forth until income minus expenses equals zero. I know this may seem tedious and a lot of extra work, but there is no substitute for having a plan in writing. You will have more control of your money, and if you are married, you will have agreement on how to use your money. If you prefer, you can fill out the budgets online using our forms. Either way, make sure you make the adjustments until income minus expenses equals zero. This should be done with your spouse. It's time to do something.